Hurricane Irene traveled up the United States East Coast, causing estimated billions of dollars in damages and thousands of residents to flee from their homes, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers stood at the ready and kept a watchful eye on several New Jersey coastal shoreline protection projects, as this was the first hurricane to make landfall in New Jersey since 1903. Immediately after Hurricane Irene slammed into the Long Beach Island, project managers and engineers from the Corps' North Atlantic Division's Philadelphia District deployed to the island to assess the project. Uh, we're only several days after Hurricane Irene came through, and, you, and Hurricane, the, the high tide and the waves came right to the dune that's behind me and added more to the erosion that's naturally occurring here every year from the nor'easter storms that come into New Jersey. So. The dune is the last line of protection between the Atlantic Ocean and all the homes that are built along this island. And because of the partnership between the state, the Corps of Engineers, and the Borough of Harvey Cedars, the island here was spared from a great disaster. We, we work very well with, with the Corps and actually with the state. Uh, we really built a very good team together to, um, to, to uh, put this project together. It went very, very smoothly. Uh, we worked together. They helped us with some of the things that weren't specifically right in the bid that were there to work it out so that we could try to keep some of our residents happy, some of the details as the, product, as the project developed, which was really very helpful to us as an elected official to be able to deal with some of the concerns that our, that our homeowners had as the project developed. And we were, very fort we were very happy with that team that we built to really put together a really good product. Overall, initial assessments proved that the engineering and design of these protection projects played a significant role in preventing extensive flooding and damages to most of Long Beach Island. I'm standing here uh, quite nicely at elevation 22 on a newly constructed dune in Harvey Cedars. The Corps of Engineers began this project in the fall of 2009 and completed in the spring of 2010. We, we successfully moved three million yards of, of clean fill on this island. And uh, as we stand here today, we can see the after effects of Hurricane Irene were, were very minimal. Uh, the, the high tide and waves from the hurricane just barely breached the toe of the dune. So today we have a safe operate, operating beach, fully functional. And we have very secure structures that are protected by, by the dune. And uh, the goal of the Corps of Engineers is to, is to complete the entire island to this quality and this level of protection. Well, our town did very well with the hurricane. We were very, very, very fortunate. Uh, before we put the project in here, we were, we were very uh, desperate for protection. There was no dune left. The ocean was right up to the, the edge of the houses. And so, so with this, uh, w when this project came online, I was excited about it. I've been passionate about it. I've been working for it for a long time. And so when the hurricane came, I was worried about the winds, but I wasn't worried about the ocean. After a brief cleanup and removal of debris, residents and visitors were able to return to the beach and enjoy the last weekend of summer. Reporting from Harvey Cedars, United States Public Affairs Specialist, Cook Severance.